Hi everybody, and thanks for checking out another of my Miss Pandaria beta videos. Today we're going to deal with some, not all, just some of the dailies that you can get into here when Miss Pandaria comes live. We are out at the Arboretum in Jade Forest, and we are over at the Order of the Cloud Serpents. Here is my little hatchling. He does random little things when you click on him. Sometimes he just looks at you. Sometimes they go for the cuteness overload and say that he rubs his scales on your arm because he's happy. So we'll see what dailies we've got. Welcome. Restoring the balance. Killing rippers or egg There's drinkers. Life. Get the harpoons, pretty similar to the ones I did yesterday. And yeah, this is exactly the same ones I did yesterday. So this is a lot like Netherwing, where you your hub is in one area, but your questing is going to be in a different area. Uh, you start over there, the Arboretum, and you have to come out to Windward Isle. Windward Isle was the location of uh, a lot of leveling back in the uh, day before a lot of the other zones were open people would swim out here from Jade Forest and uh, attack these guys that were uh, pretty high level at the time could only really do it if you were uh, a reasonably geared tank otherwise they wound up being a little too strong so right now we're going to be dealing with the quest to kill the Slither Scales. Now I'm at a certain rep level where I can do three dailies per day for these guys. And it gets you just a hair shy of 2,000 rep once you've done all three. I believe last night I was at 39 and went to 3.9k uh, and went up to about 5.5k after I had turned in all three. So this is going to be an example of killing the Slither Scales for the eight of them. You'll see this a lot on MOP. You'll see uh, buff food dropping. I'm actually going to go ahead and eat some. Now, aside from the location of the island being similar to the Netherstorm quest, you will find that the general theme of them is also fairly uh, similar. You will encounter some pretty... I wouldn't say pretty hard, but you will encounter some reasonably hard mobs out here. Uh, some of the quests where you just have to deal with one person, uh, like the Lizard Lord, anybody who gets in on the fight will be able to get credit. It's not just who tags it. And um, it's similar to the harder quests in the... Uh, Netherwing dailies. I think I've been saying Netherstorm the whole time. I mean Netherwing dailies from TBC. It's also pretty similar to when you would have to go out and kill that Frost Drake for the Argent tournament. You, you probably could solo it if you were a tank in reasonable gear. Uh, else, maybe two manning it would probably be the best. So I'm not going to go ahead and spend the whole video just farming these guys over here. I'll go ahead and pick it up when I move into the next area and start dealing with the other quests that I've got today. Alright, I'm done with the 8 of 8. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of the island over here. These guys down here, the Shadow Fate Tricksters, are neutral. However, if you see this little thing over here that's a boot, you will get a daily to come out here and retrieve these boots that these little douchebags have taken. They will aggro once you pick up the boots. You can either clean them up first and then take the boots or just realize that they will 
aggroly moment, you pick them up. Here are the Windward Tigers. You'll be fighting them for some of the dailies. I believe a named guy is in here. Uh, I've fought the Shadow Fade Madcap before. He does some crazy spells when you're fighting him. He, I believe, was uh, on the same day that I had to do the boots. So here are some of the tigers. There is an alpha. That's part of the, it's one of the ones that you do when you're on the tiger dailies. You have to come out and find the alpha. Here's a windward saber. I've had a fight that once before. If we come around the back of the island over here, we'll get in the general vicinity of where I can do the harpoons. And you'll see down here is the harpoon daily. Basically, it's just a matter of, out of range. picking up the harpoons over here. And niftily enough, I apparently don't drop flight form to pick them up. So since I've already got my 8 of 8, I can just skip fighting these guys. That little golden item over here might be an egg similar to the netherwing eggs. I do believe I heard somebody talking in general a few days ago about farming them, but they look a little bit too too populated out here for it really to be the same. I can't imagine uh, that all of these egg-looking items out here would be granting rep. just seems a little bit too easy. So we've done the harpoon dailies and now I have to come out here and fight the Slither Lord, and there he is. Yesterday I was um, about halfway done with him alone, and uh, an Alliance Mage or Priest came in and helped. And it looks like I've got somebody today, Dwarf Priest. Got a night elf hunter joining the party. They'll all get credit for it too. So there you go. There is the round of lizard dailies for this level of rep. You can see here for the order of the cloud serpent, I'm honored and I'm at 5550. So we'll double check the rep again after I do the three turn-ins. You will come out to this island to do the intro quest to the dailies. Uh, you have to come out there and do several normal quests. You grab an egg and then you return with it. Uh, I do believe you pick what color you want the egg to be and that changes what um, your serpent will be. I used to have a pet, a combat pet, well, uh, you know, one of the pet battle ones that matched these guys and the last patch took them away. It was actually part of one of my battle teams that worked pretty well. It's a shame that he's gone. So you can see here I'm getting five valor points and I'm getting a lesser charm of good fortune. If I turn in a hundred of those, I get an upgraded charm of fortune that I believe can increase the chance of getting extra loot and raids. So now I've done my three. I was at 5550 and now I'm at 7200. So you can see it's almost 2000. The flight guy is over there. Here are some more examples of the serpents. I believe the actual ones you can get from the vendor over here. Jade, Am Azure, Golden, and Jade. Here is the rep vendor forum. Uh, the panthers for jewel crafting are over here. You've got Ruby, Jade, Sunstone, Sapphire. You've got some finish lines and floating finish lines that you can summon. Uh, a floating racing flag. You've got the jeweled onyx panther. You've got a ring for your mount to jump through. And then over here are the actual mounts. There's the tabard. Kind of light purple and teal. 
and then there are the rains, golden, azure, jade. I'm going to pause the video briefly and fly you guys out to the main cooking area and show you some of those. I'm not as into those as the cloud serpent ones. I'm kind of doing them on the side a little bit since you can kind of do some small amounts right there in the neighborhood and they don't take up too much of your time. All right, we are back and we are out here at Half Hill. Half Hill is kind of in the middle of the Valley of Four Winds. This is a major cooking hub. This is where a lot of cooking dailies will go on from. And this is the Tillers. This is the Farmville rep people. Now, I'll go ahead and show you the main area over here. Out over here is basically a little farm that you can do some work from. He'll give you a couple of dailies. Looks like I'm killing the Warren Mother again. I don't know why it wants me to plant the green cabbage, considering that's what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my cabbage that I planted last night. It takes about 24 hours for your crops to grow. And you can see my tiller rep is going up. Apparently I have something called stubborn weed over here. And it looks like I have to <laughs> use an ability there to pull it up. Now if I just whack it, I'll actually till the soil. Ah, One of these little vermin douchebags popping up on me over here. The vermin are my favorite race so far <laughs> in Mr. Pandera. I think they're absolutely... Uh, hysterical. They're like a cross between a, a gopher and a rabbit that has completely gone on crack and flipped his ever-loving mind out. To me, they just provide a little bit of comic relief. So I'm going to go ahead and whack on the soil again, which will till it. If you ever plant a crop that gets infested with bugs, there's a bug spray over here. You just pick that up. You spray it. Alright. No so now for the cabbage test daily, he wants me to go get ca cabbage seeds. So you come over here, talk to the guy with the bubble. Say, Archim! Cabbage. And you can pick up some seeds. And then basically you fly back to your little plot. You want to target your tilled soil. Plant the seeds. It works best if you target it. So now as you can see here some interesting things are happening as I'm planting. That one planted, well, it said wiggling, so I'm going to click it. Now it looks like I got another vermin popping up. So you can see, you get some random stuff when you're doing these tiller dailies. It's, you might think it's going to be boring, but it's kind of not. Because you have to do interesting things with your crops. It's not always just plant it and walk away. Occasionally you'll get vermin popping up. You'll have to deal with weeds. You might have to deal with a runty plant that you actually have to pull out of the ground a little bit so that it grows properly. Uh, have to deal with this vine over here. So now that I get rid of the vermin, the cabbage has gone properly. For this one, you have to keep punching it and hit number two just as it rears back and stops it from slamming you on the ground. This one's a little bit of an odd one. You just have to have patience. It'll eventually let you go. And now that one's turned into a normal cabbage. This one got some weed, so I gotta go ahead and pull it out. And this one tangled. I haven't seen a tangled one yet.
Oh, apparently I have to grab it and pull it out. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so now that one's normal. And now I can just go ahead and turn in the cabbage test daily and pick up a coin. Now I'm going to stop the video, but I'm going to fly out here into the mountains to fight the vermin mom. Alright, we are at the nest. You have to fly into this little hole over here. Probably going to have to fight a little bit of vermin trash on the way in. So far I've done gone into... Oh, that's great. I've come into this particular area uh, about three times. One time no trash was up because people had been in here. Most times I have to fight a little bit and there's the Springtail Warm Mother over here. Now there's actually two different kinds. There's this white kind and then there's a more darker orange kind. This one I believe is going to spit seeds at me. Or maybe it's going to do the... No, maybe it's going to do the fire. Yeah, this one's going to do the fire bombs. So basically you just have to run around it. Avoid the bombs. If you get hit with one, you'll get knocked back. It'll do a reasonable amount of damage. Nothing too bad. Uh, looks like I picked up green out of it. And tried peach. Don't need parry. So we're going to go ahead and scoot out. So there are some tiller dailies. And I'll show you a little bit more when I get back into town. Alright, we're back over here at Half Health. The basic story is this guy inherited this farm from his dad. He was kind of a city panda and now he has to come out here and live in the country and they kind of guffaw at him when he first gets here calling him a city noob but basically you help him out and he starts to win the respect of people so here is obtain a plains hawk leg from a monstrous plains hawk master of the steamer Get some preserves, and he gives you an iron paw token. There is no what do you need? Borrow a kite, throw water on dusty spots. So kind of like a bombing run quest for that. Of that. Here's Tina Mudclaw. Go get some items from uh, the Vermin and Springtail Crag. There's the Flight Master over there. So there you go. This is what Half Hill Market looks like. If you come out here with zero and cooking, you can actually level decently far by talking to Sung Sing Iron Paw over here. Ask for training, and she'll give you Pandaren recipes. The recipes that she wants you to cook in the beginning, she actually holds the raw supplies for. I had to use some of these instant noodles, and I believe... The Pandarian Peaches. Unfortunately, I've now hit a level where I can't go any further. Uh, I believe in order for me to skill up, I have to fish. Uh, yeah, toasted fish jerky. So I'm at a level where I have to get golden carp. So I have to likely fish for that. She doesn't sell it. But I was able to get almost 70 points in cooking just by doing her initial quest and asking her for the ingredients and just sitting here cooking them right in front of her face. So, hope you enjoyed some of this info on the Order of the Cloud Serpents and the Tillers, which are the uh, farming and cooking people. And I uh, hope everybody is looking forward to some of these dailies. I know for sure... I'm going for the Cloud Serpent ones when it goes live as soon as possible. Uh, the Cloud Serpent ones, you have to be 94. I'm not too sure if you can do any of the stuff out here prior to... Actually, you can. Yes, you can do these before uh, 90. A friend of mine in the beta was 87, 86, 88 or so when uh, she was working on these and she was able to do them. So, uh, enjoy and stay tuned for hopefully some more heroic videos.